Let's dive into the API gateway pattern, which serves as a single entry point for client requests in a microservices ecosystem. Its primary purposes are, one, to simplify the client side code by providing a unified interface. Two, to handle cross-cutting concerns like authentication, logging, and rate limiting. Three, to aggregate responses from multiple microservices. Four, to provide protocol translation and API versioning. The API gateway acts as a reverse proxy, intercepting all incoming API calls from clients. It then routes these requests to appropriate microservices, aggregates the responses, and returns them to the client. The gateway can also perform additional functions such as authentication and authorization, request and response transformation, caching, monitoring and analytics, and rate limiting and throttling. That said, let's talk about the challenges associated with this pattern. First, performance bottleneck. If not properly designed, the API gateway can become a single point of failure and a performance bottleneck. Ensure proper scaling and caching mechanisms are in place. Second, over complexity. Adding too much business logic to the API gateway can make it difficult to maintain and scale. Keep the gateway focused on routing, aggregation, and cross cutting concerns. Then, there's a lack of versioning. Failing to implement proper API versioning can lead to breaking changes for clients. Implement a robust versioning strategy from the start. Next is the inadequate monitoring. Not implementing comprehensive monitoring and alerting can make it difficult to troubleshoot issues. Ensure proper logging and monitoring are in place. There are also challenges generated from security misconfigurations. Incorrectly implementing authentication and authorization can lead to security vulnerabilities. Regularly audit and test security configurations. And finally, we have tight coupling. Designing the API gateway with too much knowledge of the underlying microservices can lead to tight coupling. Strive for loose coupling to maintain flexibility. By addressing these challenges and avoiding common mistakes, organizations can effectively implement the API gateway pattern to enhance their microservices architecture. Let's now apply this pattern to our e-commerce solution. And obviously, it starts with the clients of our microservice solution. The API gateway intercepts all incoming API calls from clients and routes them to the appropriate microservices before aggregating the responses and returns them to the client. And, as mentioned, within the gateway, we can take care of authentication, secret management, and HTTP and protocol translations. Last, if you think about implementation options for this pattern, you can look at AWS API Gateway, Azure Azure API Management, or Google Cloud Endpoints and Apigee Edge. Okay, that's all for today. Hit the like button. Subscribe, and I'll see you soon.